What's up guys? How's it going? It's always me, Francesco, and this is the Wine Thursday. Of course, I hope that everybody is doing fine, that everybody is doing well. Of course, we are in the beautiful tasting room of Fattoria di Montemaggio. I will wait just a few more seconds in order to, of course, to uh, give the time to everybody to join us. And uh, I really hope that uh, everyone, every single one of you is doing uh, great right now. And today I'm so excited. We are going to talk about um, of a specific topic that I, I really think is very important which is the um, tools, the, the essential tools for a wine lover. So we'll see together a few different tools um, that are really, um, that can really transform your wine experience, not only when, of course, you go in a, in a cantina, in a, in a winery to have a tour, but also if you want to have a wine experience by yourself with your friends uh, in your house, right? So sometimes you want to organize wine dinner or wine lunch and you want to explore a little bit certain kind of uh, wine region, a certain kind of, um, of course, a certain kind of wine. And of course, uh, we will give you today, I will give you today, we'll discuss together about those kind of tools that can really help you uh, to um, improve that kind of experience. So um, first thing I would like to show you it is actually the uh, waiter's friend. So this is, uh, of course, the um, uh, corkscrew. And um, of course, you can find many different uh, types of uh, corkscrew, but uh, of course, this is actually the pretty common. And this is actually the probably the, the most helpful and actually easier to use. So it's always important to have one of these with you when you go, of course, uh, for uh, um, when, you, when, when, of course, you want to taste one when you're with your friends again. Wine, uh, wine dinner or uh, wine lunch, you need to have just simply one of these. Uh, of course, again, you can find several different types of um, 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 corkscrew. You have, of course, the wing or corkscrew, for example. You have also um, um, the, the electric cork, uh, corkscrew. But again, this is probably the simpler and most uh, effective, uh, help, helpful kind of um, um, course, uh, the waiter's friends. Now, next essential, of course, and this is probably um, the most important, it is the white napkin. Of course, this one is essential. Uh, again, as I told you, it's probably the most important, maybe uh, uh, the, the first most important kind of essential, of course, it's it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a glass, and of course, it's a, it's a wine glass. But this is actually comes probably just second to that. And uh, you know, uh, even, I don't know if you if you follow before my uh, my live stream, we also talk about um, the proper way to taste wine. And actually, the wine napkin is so important. It's so much important for the wine tasting because you can actually um, uh, take a look. Uh, to the wine a little bit better, putting in contrast the, the white napkin um, with, with the wine. You're able, of course, to observe a little bit more the, uh, the characteristic of your wine. You know, the color can tell you a lot about uh, a wine, of course. It can tell you if you have oxidation in the wine, it can tell you if you have certain kind of problematic, it can tell you if the wine is healthy, and is, if everything is okay, but uh, also it can tell you uh, more or less the age of a wine. So if you see that you have um, like granite reflects on the border uh, of the wine in your glass, you uh, immediately know that, uh, that of course, that wine, it's not that young, it's probably an older one. And when you see that the color, of course, it's pretty, pretty much, uh, of course, uh, the same everywhere. So you have the same color, both in the central part, both on the, on the, on the on the on the border on the what we call the nail lungia right so uh, when you see that you know that probably that wine of course it's a, it's a younger one. this one here it's a 2012 Gran Selezione I don't know if you are able to see it, but we actually have a um, pretty beautiful nail which is quite uh, quite quite um, uh, important I mean you are really able to see it and it's a, a granite a granite uh, color and of course. When a wine is getting older, uh, the wine starts to lose color. So you see on the on the edge of the wine year plus a little bit of the uh, color changing, and you see, of course, a little bit of granite granite reflex. So that's the reason why the wine napkin is so important. Again, maybe it's, uh, it comes second just if you compare it with the, with a glass of wine, of course. Um, but yeah, this is very very important. Okay, next two I want to tell you about it's a wine saver. 
and it's called Caravin. And this is something that we use, of course, when maybe we, we need, of course, to uh, open very old bottle and maybe you don't want to, um, you don't want, of course, to, to waste all your wine and you just use this. This is a very uh, simple but effective tool. And um, it's really, tr it can really transform, of course, the, the, the way you, 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 you uh, serve the wine as well. It's also actually easier under certain, certain aspects. Um, and also, again, it's fantastic because uh, the bottle no longer needs to be opened. Uh, this means, of course, the wine will not uh, get sour in you will never lose those kind of delicious flavor and um, you will never like uh, lose, you will never like waste the, the bottle of wine. And um, this work uh, uh, in combination with argon gas and uh, a hollow needle. So um, I don't know if you will be able to see it, but I'll try to show you. We have a hollow needle that we just plug inside the bottle and then we can pour the wine. We have argon gas here and it's very actually easy to use. Let me just show you. We just do this. Well. So we have, of course, the argon gas and the, 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 the hollow needle. So you got, of course, the argon gas released into the bottle. Of course, this preserves your wine. Jin -jin. This one is really, really, really beautiful. In my opinion, this Grand Selection from 2012. It is at his best moment of, of his life. Anyway, feel free, of course, to ask a um, question. If you have any kind of comment, I will be happy to, to reply to you. So another um, another thing that in my opinion is so important and we need to talk about, of course, is the, the counter. So I have it here for, for you. Now, this is actually um, pretty, pretty helpful too, of course. Um, and sometimes people um, misunderstand it. Um, I mean, sometimes they, people confuse the counter with carafe, which is this tool right here. It's actually beautiful. And uh, so what's the difference when it comes about a decanter and a carafe? So car um, the decanter, of course, it's something that you really want to use when it comes about older wine. So wine that um, were uh, aged for a very long time, both of course in the cellar, in the, the barrels, but also in, in, the, in the bottle. You know, with the time, uh, you tend, of course, to have the development of certain kind of sediments inside the bottle. So when you go, of course, to, to open the bottle of wine, you also have this kind of sed sediment. And also the wine can um, uh, be uh, closed. The wine needs to breathe. It's alive. Needs, of course, oxygen needs to breathe. So you want to pour the wine inside the decanter. You have this narrow top part. So you will have this uh, Mm, control oxygenation passage and of course the wine will be completely open up at a certain point maybe it will take also a few hours for a very old wine it takes a lot of time and also you can apply filter here so you can uh, get rid of the sediment this way i mean you can just pour the wine the carafe well, it's actually pretty helpful um it has more or less the same kind of um, um idea behind it but this is something you want to use with um uh, younger wine sometimes you find younger wine of course Younger wine in general, they don't need to breathe it as much as the older wine, but some, some kind of younger wine, they need a little push, I always like to say, a little bit of spin, as we say in Italian. So you uh, pour a little bit um, um, a little bit of time to the younger wine here, and you just let it breathe for a little bit of time. Uh, you can find also a carafe that has a narrow top part. Um, I've seen uh, this kind of uh, carafe uh, used um, um, uh, as well as some kind of a, a smaller decanter for a certain kind of sparkling wine that are quite young. So you pour in this kind of thing, in this kind of carafe or in this kind of the car the decanter with a very narrow top part. You just let them breathe and this of course will improve the, um, um, of course, uh, perception that you will have. Of course, the, the, the bouquet will be um, more, um, let's say, um, it will be easier for you to perceive it and everything will sound, of course, immediately more clear to you. And also the bubble, uh, this sparkling wine, it will, of course, um, in my opinion, be less aggressive sometimes. Of course, younger spumanti, younger sparkling wine can be very aggressive sometimes, the, the bubble. And so in this way, you can you can, uh, you can can help yourself to get rid of that, that kind of aggressiveness, right? So this is an amazing tool. In general, the counter and craft, these are very, very important kind of tools. I mean, uh, every, every time we try to, to taste an old wine, we need, of course, to give the chance to that wine to um, be able, of course, to uh, open up. 
uh, itself a little bit. So you just leave it into the into the decanter, and of course you will have um, this kind of oxygenation that would, will really improve the situation. So, okay, let me see if we have comment. For now, we don't have comment. So we can proceed in our in our uh, description. Now, the next essential I would like to um, talk about is something that mm, sometimes people forget about it, but it's actually pretty, pretty helpful for me. And it's the drop stop. So this is um, also called ring. We actually have it with the, uh, with the log of Montemaggio. I don't know if you are able to see it, but this is, of course, um, called, as I told you, uh, drop stop or bottle ring and you just you use it when you have to pour the wine into your glass to stop the dripping of the wine so this is very helpful especially if you are serving the wine um to your guests again as i told you the example of the wine you're, when you are serving the wine to your guests you can use that you can of course um uh, help yourself a person when you when, when of course you're pouring the wine you don't want of course all the all the drop to uh, come out from the from the from the bottle when you're served into the into the glass when you're pour it into the glass so it's actually pretty pretty helpful and uh, again uh, i always use it and uh, especially when of course we're mm, doing tours and tasting and um, I mean, that's always, that's always very, very, very helpful. So these are, of course, uh, all essential that um, are um, very uh, easy also to find uh, around. So um, these, are not, these are things that you can also find easily uh, in general uh, on the internet. Maybe um, the, the decanter or the carafe, of course, you should look for uh, quite a few ones, but uh, in general, these are very, very, very easy to find. And also in, in our, our everyday life, we, for example, we uh, can find also things like the um, um, corkscrew or, um, I mean, these are also some kind of object you, we can find in our everyday, uh, everyday life. Um, so uh, another thing that is so important to me, especially if you want to learn more about the uh, wine world and about, um, of course, uh, all of the different uh, varieties of um, 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 of grapes and all of the different type of wine from the different wine region is the um, the word of uh, the word atlas of wine. Of course, this is something is a, um, um, a guide uh, book, so uh, you can find here, uh, of course, the perfect description of um, many different wine regions. I mean, all of the different wine regions from all over the world, and uh, they go in, into the details. They explain, of course, the um, type of grape you can find in that area, the type of cultivation they have, the type of style they apply in the, in the cellars, and also they they uh, talk about the topography uh, um, of the area as well as the geological composition of the era. So you find this, uh, you will find this very helpful if you want to learn more about the world of wine. And um, again, um, this is something you can, it's, all, it's also so easy to, um, to use. I mean, you are with your friends, you have a wine, uh, you want to know a little bit more um, about uh, certain kind of things that they do uh, in, in that specific region. So you can, of course, take a look to this book. The, everything would be more clear to, to you. Another tool uh, that I really like to use uh, when, uh, of course, I do wine dinner or wine tasting, it's the wine tasting notes. Of course, I have a small uh, book where I uh, write um, uh, all my thoughts about certain kind of wine, uh, all of the different, uh, uh, for example, rate percentage or uh, the type of aging that that wine has, and so on. So just to um, remember to have, um, of course, to keep on um, also um, on my mind when, of course, I, I need a reminder. I just, of course, go there and just take a look. And of course, it will always be easy for me to uh, to um, um, let's say to remind to myself what i tested and how it was and so on so that's really important so try always to uh, have your personal wine tasting uh, um, notebook so that's really 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 uh, helpful another tool that i really uh, like to use uh, and we really like to use here at montemaggio it is the wine cooler this is something uh, if you join me for a wine tour you will always uh, see me uh, using this, especially during uh, summer, summertime, especially during July uh, and August. Um, and um, I'm going to show you 
now, and this is something really so cool. We have uh, we have this as well with the Lago of Monte Maggio. So, and uh, this thing right here, it's so, so cool. So you have the stainless steel part, so you can just put it in the in the freezer the night before of the tasting. And then the day after, of course, it will, this will be pretty, pretty cold. And then you plug the becucho, just of course, when you want to, put it to, of course, when you want to serve the wine, and then you put this into the bottle of the wine. And uh, actually, of course, while you will pour the wine, you will be able to make it colder, make it cooler. And so this will help you to stabilize the temperature and also to, to make a little bit cooler the wine. And it will be easy after for you to um, enjoy and taste uh, in the proper way your wine. You know, temperature is so, so important. I will say this, when you are going to um, uh, wine tasting, when, when, of course, when you are going to taste a specific wine, it's always better to check the temperature. Temperature should be always uh, the wine that you can find in the cellar. So it should be, uh, let's say, in between 14 and 16, uh, maximum 18 degrees Celsius. Um, of course, uh, in the summer, it's always better, like 14 and because of course in the meantime you will serve everybody the one will warm it up itself so um of course it's always better to go a little bit uh, lower as i told you it's 14 16 maximum 18 for the red wine and it's 12 13 11 for the um for the white and this is something i actually use both for the uh, red and as well the white ones so you just of course control the temperature and it will be of course easy for for uh, all the guests, all of my guests, of course, all of our guests to enjoy the the bottle of uh, of wine. So the uh, uh, the next tool I want to show you it's something very helpful when, of course, you are done with your wine tasting, but you have a little leftover uh, in your bottle. Maybe you, you you didn't have, of course, the carving, so you just screw out the, the cork, and so the bottle is still open, and maybe you have a leftover. So what you should do is this. This is, of course, a um, um, uh, cork, a plastic uh, silicone cork, actually. You just plug it into the bottle, and then you suck out here with this vacuum pump, and this will help you, of course, to um, reduce the risk of oxidation inside the bottle and of course the wine will last for uh, a few more days and of course maybe the next day or the day after you uh, taste it back and yeah it will be pretty much pretty much the same so another tool that we actually use very frequently here at Monte Maggio, and especially if you're a wine lover and maybe you want to have a wine dinner party with your friends on i really recommend you to use it is the black glass we use it of course for the for the for the blind tasting and uh it's actually pretty uh pretty uh, i mean helpful for for us you don't see what's inside and so of course uh, you will just be focused on the uh, wine, um, um, I mean, aromas, so the bouquet, and the taste, and so on. So, it will help you to set your mind uh, into like recognize all of the aroma and all of the components in wine without seeing actually the, the color. So, that's really fantastic. So, another tool that we should talk about is the wine glass. Of course, you know. We have several different type of wine glass uh, and um, sometimes of course people say that for every type of wine we should use a specific kind of specific kind of glass there are a few standard glass like this one these are pretty much just the standard um, kind of glass you can use pretty much with every kind of wine uh, every kind of like grape varieties and so on uh, but actually you have you can find several different kind of type of glasses. So maybe in, in, a, in a next in one of the next uh, um, uh, live stream, I will talk about all the different um, type of glasses. And of course, if you have any kind of comments you uh, to made, or if you have any kind of a request for the arguments of the uh, next few live stream just tell me and of course i will be happy of course to discuss about a uh, thing you uh, uh, you want of course to, to hear so uh, again but uh, again this is uh, pretty much the standard the standard kind of glass and uh, it's really fit any kind of like um option you can you can have so uh, it can really really help you with the majority of the, like wine uh, around the world and as you can see it's pretty pretty standard uh, shape and uh, again, 
Um, so these are just, of course, all these essential we, we, we talk about today, these are just few, few things that you can really use to improve your wine experience um, when, of course, you are uh, at, your, at your house, when, of course, you are with your friends, um, when, of course, you are with the, with the person you love, and uh, maybe you, uh, you want, of course, to taste specific kind of wine, maybe you just can use all of these different essential to improve your experience. So uh, let me see if we have a comment. No, we don't have comment. So again, um, uh, if you have any kind of uh, suggestion or whatever, just uh, you can also um, um, write a comment, um, of course, in the comment section of the uh, replay of this live stream that we will post on Facebook. And also we have a, um, a Facebook group where we post um, 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 much more like uh, different kind of content compared to the uh, Facebook page. And it's much more like... Um, interactive with people so you can also join us there and you can also let me know there you can also let us know there with a comment what do you want to talk about in the next in the next uh one thursday so for today is everything i hope you are doing uh really 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 uh, good right now and cheers see you next time peace ciao Oh, we have a comment. Okay. Oh, Michael Day, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Thank you so much, um, Michele. Uh, really, really appreciate your comment. And uh, I hope, of course, to, um, to see you also the next uh, one Thursday. If you have any kind of uh, suggestion, just let us know with a, with a comment. So thank you again so much and cheers. Grazie mille.